it was just like a, a big, like a crash. This morning around 5 a.m., Jane Van Valkenburg had a very rude awakening in the borough of Columbia when this tree fell down into her backyard. I never experienced anything like this in my life, and I'm 69 years old. Moments after the tree fell, Jane and her neighborhood lost power, so Jane and her family did everything they could to stay warm on this winter day. We're trying to just keep the doors closed as much as we can in the house, and we have candles on, and... That's about it. Lots of blankets. But luckily, just after 5.30 this evening, PPL was able to get power back on in Jane's neighborhood. But now she's concerned that more trees could fall into her yard with tonight's wind. I hope not. But there's always the possibility. You know, with the weight that's on the trees, it very well could come down more of those. In Mount Joy, Jim Royer was woken up around 6 a.m. with parts of a tree falling onto his driveway, damaging his car and nearly bringing a power line to the ground. But now that power line is dangling over Jim's driveway. Fortunately, we still have power, but uh, I'm still waiting for PPNL to repair that. And while Jim waits for PPL, he's making sure no one gets near the wire. That's why we put the yellow tape on it, so we don't accidentally walk into it. <laughs> And while driving through Lancaster County this evening, we came across a traffic light without power, making for extremely dangerous driving. 